Good morning. Before we begin today, please be sure that all cell phones are turned off during Mass. Today is Sunday, September 5th. In our liturgy, we're celebrating the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We welcome everyone, especially all visitors, to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. Now, if you'd please stand, we will begin today's liturgy. Our hymn is number 26 in the Missalette, Praise to the Lord, number 26. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, good to have you for Mass. Let's ask the Lord's help in this time of prayer and in our week ahead. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good. 
Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be open. The ears of the deaf be cleared. Then the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will birth forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow, the Lord sustains. But the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. 
Have you not made distinctions among yourself and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the desert, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mass. Good to have you here. Anyone in from out of town to join us this weekend? There's Noah's mama from Denver, Colorado. Nice to have you in. Who else from out of town? And ma'am? New Jersey. Jersey. Okay, Jersey wins the uh, the distance uh, 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 prize so far. Who else? Okay. Oh, Oh, where are you in from? From Orange, okay, hey, not so far away, but you never know what the traffic was like. Okay, good to have you. New Jersey, when would you get a free donut, ma'am? <laughs> tell, tell the Knights of Columbus I said so. I'm also pleased to uh, uh, point out we've been having some good progress on our construction so far. The uh, electrical is, is in. Uh, uh, we got the shear walls uh, uh, re, uh, uh, restored and uh, a, uh, uh, one of those uh, uh, plan check uh, thingies uh, visit from the city that went through on Friday without a hitch. So my thanks to Deacon Steve and his wife, Gloria Jean, for their uh, supervision of that project. And it's coming along nicely. In the vestibule in the back of church, we've got a uh, kind of of a color board with the designs of the, the colors and the, and the finishes and the tile and things like that. If you'd like to take a little peek at that, uh, uh, you're uh, most welcome to do so. And thanks for your support of that project and our parish as a whole. Uh, this morning's gospel is one of my favorite ones, the miracle of, of uh, 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 the Lord's healing and, and restoring uh, 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 hearing and, and speech to a man, something so vital to our human nature, 
the philosophers speak a, a homo sapiens, uh, uh, humanity with wisdom. This weekend you could speak of uh, homo laborens, uh, 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 our humanity's capacity for, 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 for work, for uh, uh, industriousness, uh, uh, utility and, and meaning through that. You could also speak of, of uh, uh, homo ludens, uh, our, our playful, our, our, our humorous, our celebratory side. Today's gospel lets us consider maybe the the homo uh, audiens and dicens, our, our humanity that, that listens and speaks. You ever wonder what your first words were? Maybe the ones that you spoke, but what about the words that you first heard? And it's fascinating to, to, to realize uh, that that man, uh, the first word he heard uh, was from the Lord Jesus himself, Ephatha, that is, be opened. The scripture scholars are jumping up and down and giggling like a like a uh, uh, like a uh, like like a little kid with a new toy over over the fact that look the Aramaic the the language that the Lord spoke on his on his uh, day in day out basis uh, uh, the Aramaic is peeking through there once in a while like a, kind of the uh, the author uh, uh, peeks his head through the curtain while his play is is being enacted and says, see, no, no, now pay attention. This here is important. Why do they remember this one? We don't know, but certainly that man did. How frustrating that must have been, deprived of the ability to, to, to hear and, and to speak something so essential to us. The, the curiosity, the, the, the ideas, the thoughts, the, the emotions, the, 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 the needs uh, that had to go silent and the frustration therein cooped up inside of him and that great compassion when the Lord takes him off by himself. Just a, a, a quiet moment, no, uh, no falderall, no, uh, uh, no, no publicity, although that didn't work very well in the end, but he tried just by himself. Touched his ears and his tongue, and looking up to heaven, he groaned with a, a, a powerful, maybe a, a sense and, and connection with, with that man's uh, isolation. And, and silence and frustration. A great sympathy there. And then those first words he heard, Ephatha be opened. And our world, our air, still vibrates with that word spoken to him, even to this day. We imagine the Lord, the, 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 uh, 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 the, the, the merciful, uh, the Lord of forgiveness, the, the Lord of, of power, uh, the Lord of, of patience. What about a devotion to the Lord of Ephatha? Think about it. We don't always listen well. We don't always speak well. We don't always hear what we need to hear and, and say the best things. Even in a, a, a moment of, of uh, uh, a communication with someone that, that you know so well, a friend of years or, or a member of the family or, or, or whatnot, and, and, and darn it, that's not what I wanted to say. You know, that communication uh, is, is work. It's, it's art, it, 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 uh, uh, there, there's, there's a, a lot of stuff that can get in the way. Our, our, our egos, our, our emotions, our, our understanding, our, our own limitations, uh, uh, old habits uh, that, that, uh, that, that impede uh, uh, our, 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 our hearing and our speech. Next time you're walking into a, an important conversation, or maybe you're walking out of it with a little frustration and disappointment. Pray to the Lord of Ephatha. 
Lord, open my ears that I may hear what I need to hear and to say well what you need me to say. I believe in one God. only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, who is crucified and a Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And with confidence, let's raise our voices in prayer to God. For our Holy Father, all bishops, pastors, and, and church leaders, may their eyes and ears be open to God's will and respond to the spiritual needs of his people. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For national leaders in every country, may they work to protect the dignity of all human life and provide for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the victims of natural disasters and all those lives that are threatened because of political or religious strife, may they receive the help and comfort they need let us pray to the Lord. For all people, all young people, may they use today's technologies to open their eyes to see the wonders of God and his vocation for each of them. Let us pray to the Lord. For our community faith, the Lord shower us with the grace to listen to and do his will. Let us pray to the Lord. For all in our prayers family who are sick and in, in need of healing, including Larry Parker and Barbara and Jack Price, may God extend his hand to them and bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, including Florine Blick and Michael Kennedy, and for all who have given their lives in protection of our political and constitutional freedoms, May God welcome them into his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer the Mass today for Pierce Butler for his rest and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, we give you thanks for hearing our prayers. And we ask that you answer them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing number 496, Psalm 42, As the Deer Longs, number 496.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery may we be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and arranged a changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name and forever give you thanks and praise your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. That's what you must say. Help you. Peace on. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Our communion hymn is number 437 on eagle's wings, number 437.
shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. For to his angels he's given a command to guard you in all of your ways. Upon their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And he will raise you up on eagles' wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun. Please join in singing number 587, Christ Be Our Light, number 587. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A couple announcements before we go. Please be seated. Monday is Labor Day. Please note our holiday morning mass will be celebrated at 9 a.m. All are welcome. The 20th anniversary of 9-11 is next Saturday. A special memorial mass for all the victims who lost their lives will be celebrated at the usual time of 8 a.m. Registration for the new school year for our children's and youth ministry programs, including sacramental preparation, is currently in progress. 
Please return the forms sent by email as soon as possible. If you have not received the forms, please contact John Brucia. Weekly classes for anyone interested in becoming Catholic or learning more about the faith begin on Wednesday evening, October 6th. Pre-registration should be made by contacting the parish office. Free nurse-administered flu shots will be available at O'Donnell Hall on the weekend of October 2nd through our parish health ministry. Altar servers nine years and older are needed for weekend liturgies. Training for all new and returning servers is scheduled for next Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. As lunch will be served, registration with Guy Lowry is necessary. Next weekend is our annual mission co-op appeal. Visiting Father Sinon Katoa will be speaking on behalf of the Carmelite Monastery of St. Teresa in Tonga. There will be special envelopes for the purpose of the collection. You are asked to use them and be as generous as possible. Details of all parish activities are included in the bulletin. Please take a copy home with you as you leave today. And thanks everyone for your presence at Mass. Uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, communion to be taken home. Who's our Eucharistic minister to help me with that? And thank you for your ministry. Our closing hymn, America the Beautiful, and uh, in honor of a, of a good song and some, uh, uh, yeah, we're sticking around for all the verses. You know the rule. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. America the Beautiful can be found on number 735 in your missal. skies for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited grain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Ah!